Hi. Hi. Cecil, how are you? So, Devil Traders, this is my office. This is Addy's office too. I don't know if it's my office, Addy's sitting there, or it's Addy's office I'm sitting there. This is a trading station, and uh, that's where I usually stand and trade for about an hour. Right now, uh, it's uh, Brian and Megan are in the chat room, we make it a bit quieter. And this is my new mark, Rebel Traders. We actually have some swags that uh, I've never ordered from them, but actually they're really, really nice. So I usually come with the, with running pants. Yeah. That's a funny part because they don't see this part because it's six o'clock in the morning and my home is a couple of blocks away from the office. So I come in the morning, either I run or I just walk. Today was really cold. Then we trade, do the recap, and then this is it. So that's our trading terminal. Um, I don't know, Santiago, if you can get in there, that would be nice. That's our trading terminal. <coughs> there we're gonna build that, uh, I don't know how to build high quality. The market, uh, since one week ago, you know, we did bottom a little bit, but now bouncing back. But overall, it's a brutal market right now. Zoom, 100. Yeah, that's crazy. Baba, $90. Uh, I don't know what bubble they're talking about. Everything is significantly down. Yeah. The only thing that is holding the market up is just the 7,500, really. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the mega caps, I would even say. A lot of the, a lot of the, uh, even in S&P 500, a lot of them are near 52 weeks low. Just the mega caps of like the Apples and Microsoft, they're just sticking to the low. Holding the market, yeah. yeah. You know, I didn't know that the IWM market cap is at $50 billion. The 2,000 companies that all together combined is $50 billion. Like, but Apple, how much is it? Two, two and a half trillion right now? Two and a half trillion. So Apple itself is just like, like 200 times, 500 times of all the whole indexes. Yeah. Which is means that, I don't know, it's the US uh, stock market is pretty much only in these mega caps that they are. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these mega caps have worldwide operations too. So their market cap shows in the S&P 500, but their sales are coming from all over the world. Oh, right. interesting. So like Apple's annual sale is like 600, 700 billion, which is crazy to think about. That's 700 billion, a lot of it is coming from uh, Europe, Middle East, it's coming from Asia Pacific. But do they report it into the US earnings too? Yeah, so well, it's, it, 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 it's all consolidated earnings, but then you'll see segment breakdown. But I know they don't pay taxes on the sales outside. That's why Apple has five hundred billion dollar outside of US. Yeah, they do some accounting things and stuff. But in terms of report, reporting is all consolidated. Yeah, reporting is consolidated. Then, yeah. But they may not pay taxes. Yeah, uh, taxes could on be. US. Yeah, taxes could be really. Because it's really a sales outside. Yeah. yeah. They, I know they do in Dublin. They do a corporation in Dublin, and then they invoice one another, like bring the sales over to Dublin, like things like that. They, yeah, do, they do some international, no. yeah. So like their effective tax rate is around like 21%. So they try to bring it down uh, as much as possible. Yeah, it's yeah. a tough time in the market. So Q's up 2%, 3% down. I had a pretty good day. I did the recap. Santiago is gonna post the recap. Yeah, so um, the Kangaroo market. The Kangaroo market. Yeah, up, down, up, down. And volatile up and down. It's not volatile. that half a percent up, half a percent down. Let's go up four percent, come down three yeah, percent. Yeah. It, it used to be a time S and P five hundred for the year would give you four yeah. percent. Now it gives you four percent in a day. Which is a great opportunity for trade. Like I did TQQ, I, I came out break even, but it was an amazing trade move. You know, and TQQ or even AMD moves. These uh, mega cap stocks are moving like penny stocks. The volatility is amazing, and. That's a really good time to be a trader if you know how to manage your risk. Yeah. And if you're a new trader, you gotta be really careful. You know, that's the time that also really volatile and then you can get uh, wiped out. But right now, as we speak, AMD down 104. I did a really nice reversal on AMD, but it's now just keep uh, keep bleeding. Um, yeah, it's not a it's not a fun time to be uh, an investor, definitely. That's for sure. All right. So, bearable traders, uh, I hope that you like this new style. I just came back from Argentina. I even haven't shaved from Argentina. Ardi came for about a week with me. It was really fun. And if you have any guys com comment, feedback, just write it down. Thanks a lot. And I hope that you enjoy uh, the recap that Brian and I uh, recorded. Ciao. See you later. I got I to hop on the chat room actually right now. So exciting time.
See you. See you in the chat. Hey guys. All right, good morning, everybody. This is Andrew here, back from Argentina, Patagonia. I had a really, really nice uh, time there. Uh, I was in southern Patagonia, Usaya, and then went to El Chalten, uh, running and climbing. It was really, really nice. I, I recorded a couple of videos, and now we have a new, uh, new video editor uh, at the office, so maybe we can create something uh, as a post of uh, some of my uh, recaps that we did. So market is volatile, as you guys see. Uh, you know, uh, you know, this is the tradingterminal.com. This is our beta version of a new terminal that we're building. Uh, so this week, uh, uh, you know, again a really, really bad sell-off we had. You know, QQQ was down, and then we get a real bounce, and now everything is, you know, if you consider, you know, from uh, one month. You know, again, we had like, two dips. Cathie Wood believes that this is the bottom, but uh, Cathie Wood is not really uh, um, right these days. So now every everything is bouncing. Today, uh, queues were down, everything was down, and now everything is kind of rec slowly recovering. Uh, so let's see how it goes. The technology sector is still the weakest sector, and uh, commodities are kind of flat. Bitcoin dropped again below $40,000 so much for a store of value um so yeah so that's uh, that's the state of uh mark market kind of gap down and uh, try to rip back up a little bit your queues were down like around two percent i spy was down around 1.5 percent but everything recovering but in a very 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 choppy mode definitely not easy uh you know push uh, toward up iwm is down 1.5 percent iwm is trying to recover but again it's not really not easy move for them it's really extremely choppy so i had a pretty really really solid day i still have uh, some amd and baba so i still have 2000 shares of amd and 2000 shares of baba uh let's see what we're gonna do if we can keep moving a little bit higher or not but overall i had a really really nice day i had two trades on aim on the tqq as well that they were uh so they yeah so I, on tqq i pretty much was flat so you know i had one win and one loss uh but I, up right now i'm up eighteen thousand plus you know a couple of thousand dollars unrealized yet so let's see what we did <coughs> we saw so on tqq um, you know, at the open, it was, you know, sold up, held this level, you know, it's squeezed back up. I went long at 44.60, hoping to get the break of high of the day, which was in that time was up. Oh, sorry. Uh, in that time, I, I was hoping that if we can get to 45, dropped. I really didn't want to stop out too late. I, I really wanted to stop out a little bit earlier, like around 44.40. But I got, again, I just got to stop that right at the low of the day. Do you see that? Horrible just right at the low of the day i got stopped out as soon as i got stopped out squeezed back up i went long added heavy popped up sold so and then came back up at the break even so eventually i came at the break even because this was a heavy heavy loss and this was a win heavy win eventually they these two kind of uh, break each other out and i came down pretty much flat on the, on, on this trade and then baba was a nice reversal that i did so jd had earning that it was really bad or something about JD came in, you know, sold off. And Brian did, a, I think, a short at the open. He's going to mention that later. But, you know, this 5076 level, do you see it's like a magic hold and then we'll rip back up higher. So a lot of people ask me, where is that 5076 level? So if you go to the daily chart back in 2018, pre-pandemic, there is a really nice uh, distribution phase here. Uh, you know, sorry, consolidation phase here. And then this consolidation phase here, 5076, is a very, very obvious pop. And that's the moment that exactly bounced, bounced back. So, you know, as you see, really nice bounce. So I took Baba uh, as a reversal, you know, for more some sort of, a, you know, it's not a fallen angel, really, because the stock is down 8%. I saw that it's holding the low of the day. I went long, added more. A stop loss in this particular case was uh, low of the day. So, you know, that, that was pretty much uh, this one. And I eventually can somehow get a, you know, two to one uh, risk to reward here. As I'm still in there and see how, it, how it's going to do. And uh, yeah, so that was uh, my trade. Before we go to uh, Brian, uh, uh, just let me show one trade that Thor did. He, uh, what did he do? Yeah, so he went short uh, at 9.35 on Oxy, covered and covered, and then ripped higher, and then shorted again up at 59.20, and now it's covering at 59.56. This is just an amazing short. So again, two trades, two short from, uh, uh, Thor that he called it live in the chat and again a very very solid day a very very nice uh, trade he's, he's, This is the, the, the type of short that he does above the weave app. It's just unbelievable you know, I never can understand how he's taking these shorts right above this top. It's like pretty much like uh, 
mountain top of Peter, but he lo looks at the level two. And let me tell you what, uh, Thor is writing a, a technical analysis book, it's a really good book. So, uh, you know, in the next few months, it's going to be published. So you're in there for the treat. So, Brian, what about you? <coughs> yeah, no, I um, probably my best trade was JD. It was, um, you know, I was I actually shorted it into the in the pre market because it just just seemed to be so weak. Um, I did cover it <clears throat> before they opened because I and uh, I was looking for this pop back up, which is my uh, my favorite uh, rising devil trade. So uh, pop back up to the view up and then uh, shorted it again and then uh, got a bit of a move lower once again. So um, but yeah, eventually it squeezed right back up. Sorry, did you mention our AMD trade? Uh, one of our members in the room. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I, I did it. Well. Yeah, sorry, I did. I yeah. took that trade. Brian mentioned AMD yes. as a 105. I took that reversal, uh, and yeah, it was amazing call. A really, really amazing yeah. call. That was extra couple of thousand dollars just by listening to yeah. Brian. Yeah, and uh, and of course, um, in our room, we've we've got lots of traders that have ideas too. So you know, it's power of community. Um, seeing um, having multiple eyes on multiple charts so yeah that was uh, one of the ideas that came of our trading room from one of our, from our members so um, yeah really nice setup for that yeah that was amazing i'm still actually in there amd see what's going to happen and uh, that's the beauty yeah. of being part of the community you know you don't have one eye in one chart you pretty much have thousands of eyes on different charts and you know if someone mentions don't <coughs> blindly follow that look at it and see if you have a trade book if you have a risk management uh chance in it you know you might take uh, make take that trade especially the stocks that we're trading they're really not pump and dump style so if you go into the more penny stocks one second late and you know it's a pump and dump on you uh, you know, if someone calls it, for example, at 340 and then you jump in there for the break of 350, boom, dump on you. But these stocks like a uh, market Apple index AMDs, they are really not uh, prone to pump and dump because of the higher prices and higher liquidity and money flow goes in and out in them. Uh, not that they're not, uh, they're easy to trade, but it's just a little bit of much, much better. That's the focus of our community, really. Not the penny stocks, more like a more uh, overall index market. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Good. It was a good, pretty good morning, actually. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm going to do the mentorship yeah, session. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Thank you so much, guys. So sorry about last two weeks that I was a little bit uh, off and on. Uh, you know, when I'm traveling, you know, a lot of time Wi-Fi. I have all of my setup, but Wi-Fi is a lot of hit and miss. Sometimes you go to a really bad hysteria, and then you get a really nice Wi-Fi. Sometimes you don't get even a signal in the grid's Carlton. So it's really, uh, you know, a hit and miss. So uh, I do apologize for that. And I'm back here for a couple of weeks before I go to Morocco for Marathon de Sable, which is a race that I'm going to do uh, 250 kilometers, 200 miles in, in desert. So uh, that I, I'm definitely going to die. And if I don't die in, in Morocco, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to plan to go to Everest. So that was guaranteed that I'm going to die. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. I mean, because the market is killing us anyway. So and uh, Vladimir is coming for us. So I'd rather at yeah. least die something that I like. Uh, cheers, guys. And uh, yeah. see you soon in the chat room.